Now as an anaesthetist, you might think that your sole job is to make sure your patients get through the operation with minimal physiological or psychological impairment. That's true. I think there's something else we can do to really add value. Now, a lot of the times we have extremely elderly patients coming in for you know, relatively minor procedures or other procedures. And so the way I think of it is this is an absolutely great opportunity to find out if there is something else that someone else has missed. So this is the one time that this patient might be coming in for a thing and hasn't seen a doctor in a while or hasn't seen a doctor or a specialist and been monitored in a pretty acute way. Now, what this is the opportunity for is to find other things that might be going on. So when you see an elderly patient for a random operation, not only are you taking a history and potentially doing an examination and also applying monitors to them, maybe even invasive monitoring, that way you can have a really, really good look at a large number of variables that may be important to this patient's health. Now, in this particular example, what do you think this rhythm is? Now, you can see in this rhythm that the heart rate is extremely slow. It's going from 32 to 36 beats per minute, which is again extremely slow. Fortunately, the blood pressure is stable and the patient's airway and breathing is completely normal and the patient is well perfused. So it's still there, they're stable, but they definitely have a heart rate that's too low. This is severe bradycardia. Now, what I'm looking at is the patient has pretty reasonably narrow QRS complexes, but the P waves are completely independent of the QRS complexes. So this means that there's complete AV dissociation or atrioventricular dissociation. This is the problem. So this is most likely a complete heart block. And what that means is that the normal conduction through the AV node isn't occurring. There's a complete block there. Now, typically with complete heart block, there's an escape rhythm somewhere in the ventricle. And in this case, it looks like it's in the junctional escape rhythm or it's in the Purkinje fibers. It's not a full ventricular rhythm that's escaping, though occasionally, if you extended this rhythm strip longer, you'd see the occasional ventricular beat as well. So what we did, we transferred this patient urgently to a tertiary hospital with cardiology services. They'll most likely get a pacemaker. So that's it. Take anesthesia as an opportunity, not just to provide anesthesia, but also to look for other disease states that the, your patient might be suffering that might cause them problems later and try to diagnose and manage those in the best way you can. Thanks for watching.